Hi guys, it's Ruth here from English Test Help. Today I'm going to help you write for task one in the IELTS writing exam and I'm going to show you an example with more than one pie graphs. The charts below give information on the ages of the populations in Yemen and Italy in 2000 and projections for 2050. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and making comparisons where relevant. So study the graphs, don't start writing straight away. Just think about who is in the graph, what is it about, when does the information relate to, when, where, and also look at how much, how many. Like this is three age groups, two countries, four graphs. So here is the overview. The four pie charts provide information about changes in the age makeup of the population in two countries, Yemen and Italy. The data is given for the year 2000 and a prediction is shown also for 50 years later. The ages are organised into three groups, children up to the age of 14, adults up to the age of 59 and older people 60 years and above. So what did I do? How did I write the first paragraph? I... Firstly, provided the topic. Then I told the examiner where the information relates to. What's next? I told the examiner when the information relates to. Then notice in this particular example, who is important, not all the time, but in this one it is. And I've got a how many here, three groups. Two countries, three groups. The next paragraph, you deal with the main features, the most obvious. In general, there are several clear changes predicted. The population in Yemen appears to be getting older with the middle age group occupying the largest proportion in 2050. Similarly, the population in Italy is likely to get older as well, where the oldest age group, or sorry, the largest change is expected in Italy, where the oldest age group will increase by as much as 18%. So remember, this is the second paragraph after the overview. These are the most obvious, the easiest to see differences. There it is again. So can you see? Yemen, Italy, both of them are likely to get older. But the largest change is expected in Italy because the old age group here, can you see? This is the biggest difference from here to here. So this student has done the right thing and focused on the most obvious difference. What do you write about in the next paragraph? Detail. Are you ready? To be more specific, in 2000, half of the population in Yemen were children up to the age of 14. However, by 2050, this age group will have decreased, only accounting for 37%. The middle age group, which consists of adults from 15 to 59, will have increased in proportion, reaching 57% of the whole population. In slight contrast, it is expected that Italy's population will become older, with people over the age of 59 reaching well over one-third. Meanwhile, the proportion of children and adults in Italy will decline, 
with the adult age group probably reaching 46.2%, down from 61.6% 50 years earlier. Now, I'll show you this same paragraph again, but highlight the good features. Are you ready? So in bold, to be more specific, however, in contrast, meanwhile, are the connecting or the linking words. Excellent. In red are the language features to describe data from pie charts. We've got half, account for, consist of, proportion, number percent of the whole, one third or well over one third, and the proportion of, and don't forget with the word percent you use a number. In blue, we have words referring to the future, prediction, expected that. So we've got by 2050, will have decreased or increased. It is expected that, will become, will decline, and this very useful adverb, probably. Underlining shows you the words to compare and contrast, which you must do in every IELTS task one, you must compare. And it's got a very clear structure. Here are the linking words again. And some students ask, where is the conclusion? But you don't need a conclusion. Task one is more like a report. It's not an essay. You do not argue or discuss to arrive at a conclusion. No, you simply describe what you see. So a conclusion is usually inappropriate. Now, this model was 237 words. Of course, it is readily, freely available on my blog at englishtesthelp.online. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel or join us at englishtesthelp.online for lots of free lessons. Bye for now.